so next we will start with date and time functions so we have already seen some string functions right and similarly we have few functions that works specifically with date and time so let us start checking that so i have a table here called events right event id which is a primary key auto increment key by now you already know what primary key means and what auto increment means right we have an event name right event date time and date time three fields event date is of type date event time is of time is of type time date is the date time means hours and minutes and seconds like that and date time means both which constitutes the timestamp that means at what date and at what time together if we have to represent we have to say date time so we have a date data type just like how we have varkar we have int we have boolean in the same line we have date as well as time as well as date time right now what i will do is i will create this table right i will execute this one right now let us try to insert some data into this so what i have already done insert into events right what i will be entering event name event date event time and event date time and values right now i start entering the values right say let us say for example meeting there is a meeting right at what timestamp so for that i will say cur date that means it will give me current date right this is a function right in the same line we have cur time that means current time right and i will say now this will give me both date time right so cur date cur time and now current date current time and now so this this function will give me the current timestamp or the current date this will give me the current time and this will give me the current time and date and time both the timestamp right so if i run this one it has inserted right now i will remove this one i will say select star from events right let us run this one right so if you see we have date that is today's date time and date time right that is combination of both right now let us learn few handy date time functions on this one right so we have this event date right i want to know on what is the day name of this date right monday tuesday wednesday what is the day name for this one right so what i can say select select right event name comma i'll say day name of event date right and if i run this one if you see meeting is on saturday this makes it more readable and very handy for you no know, non-techy users right if you have to generate a report maybe you can consider using this one right in the similar line we have another function called day of month day of month right let us see what result we will get 13 that means this is the 13th day of the month right <coughs> right now we have another function day of week right that means this is seventh day of the week it was saturday i think it's starting from sunday until saturday we have seven days right okay let us take one more function month name right on what month name does this event date occurs right that means it occurs in january right very simple right now we will check date addition and date subtraction right so i will say date add right date add how much i will say interval 7 day that means what this will do it will add 7 day 7 days to this event name right 
now if i run this one we'll see what happens right so if you see the from the current date it added seven days right right now i already have seven days ahead of the time right in the same line what i have date diff right so i will come here date diff right and let us see from now till event how much time is left right i'll remove this one and this is date diff no underscore okay right so zero days because when i did insertion i used the now function right and the same date is today's date only right and today only i'm using now for date diff that means it is showing zero right now so that is the date diff function it will take difference between two dates right